All week long, CBS3 has been celebrating 50 years of THON. It's the organization, or that organization has been raising money to help end childhood cancer since 1973. And it really has become the largest student run philanthropy in the world. Eyewitness News anchor and Penn State alum, proud Penn State alum Jessica Cartaglia, joining us live from State College right now, where dancers have just begun entering the Bryce Jordan Center. They're getting all hyped up. They've got a long way to go, right, Jess? <laughs> Yeah, speaking of hyped up, guys, you have heard me in the newsroom all week. This is such a big deal to Penn Staters and really everyone who benefits from the hard work that these students do all year long. Now, when we came into the Bryce Jordan Center this afternoon, students are lined up outside, and we're not talking about just the dancers, but the students who are here to cheer on their friends who are going to be taking the floor momentarily. Now, behind me here, you can see some of the sororities, some of the fraternities are starting to come in. We're still waiting for the students. Dancers who are going to come out of a tunnel in a little bit. They'll take the floor and they will all kind of chill, so to speak, until they take their feet at six o'clock. Now, one of the most notable alums and Penn State supporters is Sue Paterno. She will be here cheering these students on. She recently invited us into her home to talk about her love of Penn State, her charity work, and the Paterno legacy.